only me hey <laughs> back again with another video yes another video i made a video a couple of hours ago saying that the transfer window is basically over for sunderland it looks very slim that we'll be getting anybody in but <clears throat> it was 50 50 on bailey right going so before we talk about transfers bailey right has left the building i'm quite disappointed to be fair i'll give my reasons why in a bit <clears throat> Sunderland AFC can confirm that Bailey's of the Rights has joined Rotherham United on loan. Yes, Bailey Wright. The Australian international moves to the New York Stadium, Rotherham, until the end of the 22-23 season. Joining the Millers, who currently sit in 20th place in the Sky Bet Championship. So yes, Bailey's going out there on loan. Reason being, he's right down the pecking order at Sunderland. And, you know, he really does want to have game time. He wants to be playing football. At, I'm not saying he's, he's getting over the hill. But, you know, it's his last few seasons now, I would have thought, in, in this kind of level of football. And he wants to really give it a good go. And under Tony Mowbray and the youngsters that are doing really well at Sunderland. Danny Bart's not a youngster, but he's doing really well at Sunderland. Right, has gone right down the pecking order. We've just brought in another centre-back today. So, you know, I can understand why Bailey's been missing all day and he's, he's had a move to Rotherham. So again, this is the Sunderland statement. A model professional and fan favourite, Wright moved to the stadium alight on loan from Bristol City in January 2020 before completing a permanent move to Wayside six months later. He went on to make over 100 appearances in the red and white, winning the AFL trophy in March 2021 and starting in the club's unforgettable playoff final victory at Wembley in May 2022. Yeah, he's had, he's had a good time. I do think, you know, the majority of fans look at Bailey Wright and we think, yes, model professional, really good time at Sunderland. Didn't, to be fair, hasn't done anything wrong in my eyes. Picked up one or two niggles of injuries, but for me, overall, he's had a really good time at Sunderland. So, Wright has started six Skybet Championship fixtures during the current campaign and has featured for Australia in the World Cup, of course. As the Socceroos, reaching the last 16 for only the second time in their history. Sporting director Christian Speakman said, Bailey is the ultimate professional and he has been an outstanding member of our squad, especially over the last 18 months. Tony and I have had numerous conversations with him <coughs> this season. Because his game time has been limited and he is motivated to play regular, we agreed that it is right opportunity presented itself in January. We would not stand in his way and we believe this move is the best outcome for all parties. All at SAFC are grateful for Bailey's contributions on and off the pitch and the best to look to him. I completely agree with that. As in, I wish him all the best. I do I do like the man. I wish him all the best in the future at Rotherham. I hope he has a fantastic time at Rotherham. And it would be great if he was in the backbone of Rotherham and they did stay up in the championship. The reason why I'm disappointed that Bailey Wright's gone is that I think we do need the likes of Bailey Wright. Experience from Bailey Wright in the side, in the, in, in the training room, in, in, you know, on, the, on the training pitch, even on the substitutes bench, on the bench itself. The, the experience of Bailey Wright, the years he's got being a central defender. And also, you know, there is sort of, there's injuries amongst these players. Unless he's had a couple of injuries. Ballard's had an injury. Danny Bart had an injury. We've got likes of Huggins, who's had injuries, Sirkin. So there's no guaranteed we're going to get all these players through to the end of the season. So Bailey Wright on the substitutes bench, you know, it's a good person to have there. So I'm disappointed. I can see the reason why he's left. But like I say, I, I just, I, I'd rather he stay. I would have been over the moon if Bailey Wright had stayed. But good luck, Bailey. You've been an absolute asset to the club. So there we go. Bailey Wright's gone. But Cummins in. Now, apparently out there, I think somebody, I think Evan are trying to get a striker in last minute. A lot of people get excited that Ella Sims might be joining Sunderland because they're trying to get their striker in. But I've been on the website and a lot of fans from Evan would rather give Sims a chance than bringing in, is it AU? I forget his name now. I can't, I'm not going to put a look on it. But yeah. So, but I, I don't think, I think it's going to, I mean, let's face it. My sources at the club said it's gone really quiet. Unfortunately, it's gone really quiet. 
and it doesn't look like anybody else is coming in a day barring a surprise visit by anybody last there could be somebody on the way up who comes the last minute but for me that's too late i I'm going to go with, you know, my sources are normally 100% correct. They're saying it's about 90% game over today. Transfer windows done and dusted. Unless, like I said, someone suddenly turns up out of the blue. That's the only way we'll get someone over. I mean, it might happen. You never know. Sims might suddenly appear and there's way fully to interview him outside the eight. <laughs> Academy of Light. You don't know, do you? Anyway, so it's been a good transfer window. Four bodies in. And we've lost two. What we've lost two. We're going to, not going to talk about J, J Matet here because we could recall him if desperately needed him. But I think he'll get good good game time at Plymouth. And you know, end of the day, he might improve loads playing for, playing first team football for Plymouth, and then come back to Sunderland at the end of the season. Diaby is gone, never to be seen again. I would think he'd not come back to the club. But we do have like Sir Pierre Equa. We do have. Um, Isaac, who's just come as well. And we've got Gelhart and Joe has just joined the day. So you're talking four quality youngsters. A couple of unknowns. But big ones we've missed is that we've we lost Ross Stu for the end of the season and we've lost Corey Evans. Now, Corey Evans in midfield is a, is a massive loss. But we do have bodies in there that could actually... There's no saying that the likes of Pierre Equa might even just suddenly come on loads and be a really fantastic quality midfielder. You know, miss shoot with game time might get better and improve it and actually overtake likes of Corey Evans. So we might have players already there at the club that could do a job. Then we have Luke 09 as well. He can fit into the midfield as we have with an abundance of, of defenders. Now, the forward line's an issue. We've only got Ross Stewart, who is now out for the rest of the season, but we brought in Joe Gelhart. Now, there's nothing... I mean, Joe Gelhart scored in the Premier League. He scored against Chelsea in the Premier League. So he has the quality to do well. It could be an absolute revelation in the Championship. We may be looking, maybe he's in, in 10 games time and he scored 10 goals in 10 games. We just don't know. It's an unknown. But he has proven that he can do it in, in, at some level in the Premier League and scored a couple of goals. So drop down to the Championship level. It could be the making of Joe Gelhart. End of the day, we all know what Ross Stewart brings to the table. He's an absolutely fantastic professional footballer. Brilliant for Sunderland. You know, for me, out of all the players, he was the first one on the team sheet week in, week out. Scores the goals, does well in defence. So he's going to be an absolute massive miss. That could be the difference between playoffs and not the playoffs. It depends how the other four who come in, you know. So is it a good... It's been a good... Brilliant, but, you know, take away the injuries. I think Christian Speakman has done a good job bringing these players in. Done a good job bringing these players in. The four players that have come in. We, it's, it really is bad luck on Speakman's behalf and on Sunderland's behalf. It is really bad timing, should we say, that only just before the transfer window closes, we lose two of our, our captain and our best player in the same week. That is just awful, awful timing. Awful time and awful luck. You cannot, you cannot, like, you cannot predict that's going to happen. You cannot, honestly, you cannot. Nobody thought a week ago that would happen. So it is an awful time and an awful bad luck. Let's just hope we have the ammunition and the players in there and the belief in Tony Mowbray to get the best out of these youngsters at the right time for the right quality and we can keep on progressing. We may still even, they might surprise us again. They've surprised us so far this season. They might surprise us again and push us even further and get us into the playoffs. We don't know. And we might get somebody in in the last hour tonight in the transfer window, but it's looking very, very doubtful. For me, that's the business done. I think the business is done and now we've got to just get on with it. You know, end of the day, it's we've got to just... Get behind the team, support them, which I know every single Sunderland fan will do. I'm disappointed we haven't got a striker in so far. I'm very disappointed we haven't got a creative or experienced midfielder in, but clearly they haven't been able to get them in. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Again, disappointing. We're going to do SCFC Fan TV now, where we fully will be down at the Academy of Light. And if he sees Ellis Sims, he will interview him. I'm sure he will. Hopefully, Touchwood is there, but that's only a 5% chance and there's only you one percent of that five percent chance of them being there anyway see you later subscribe channel take care god bless we'll see you tomorrow for the millwall pre-match
video, pretty much video, preview video. Thank you. See you later.